Now, let's do a critical assessment of the methods which we discussed in the earlier video about poverty alleviation. See, although the schemes were very good enough, they were implemented also to certain extent in a very successful manner, but then the benefits were appropriated by non-poor, okay. So, most of the benefits went to people who are actually not poor. The resources allocated in these schemes have not been sufficient enough. So, they are insufficient as such. The reason being that the population has been growing. The government also has a budget and they cannot increase the budget because of lack of so much of growth in GDP. See, no doubt the GDP is growing then as I told you, the government earns revenue from taxing people right from the PSUs which it is running. So, that revenue has to be such that we are able to see or meet our expenses. So, when resources are allocated to the schemes, part of the revenues are getting allocated to such scheme and hence the resources allocated by government have not been up to the mark but then government also has limitations. The resources were used inefficiently by officials. Um, the most important problem in India which is plaguing India is the moment a scheme is announced or any kind of monetary benefit is announced, by the time it reaches the farmer, it is there is hardly anything left. So generally the when the schemes were be initiated by the government, the officials inefficiently handled it. Now, they were unable to address majority of vulnerable people in the society. So, most of the people who should have got benefited, especially in the backward areas, still have not been able to reap the benefits of these schemes.